Thank you, Mr. Morehouse. Uh, I would like to start with uh, a question which arises from your work. Um, and you write in the context of metadata and surveillance that a high degree of professionalism creates a working and social atmosphere where dissent is an honourable thing. I was wondering, in your experience, how do you encourage such a social atmosphere? And uh, what are the characteristics of a great dissenter? <laughs> yes, it's a, uh, of course, uh, um, I've never worked within a security agency, but I've worked in other, many other sorts of situations where where dissent, uh, uh, the, uh, the, acad the academy is, is obvious, obviously one, and, and I've worked in, in centres of, of excellence. And, uh, and I've, um, I can't see that, this, that some of the, uh, the practices of, of, uh, of what I call uh, professionalism, or one part of the prof professionalism, that I have in mind, um, I expect to come from um, the, um, the 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 new wave, the new a uh, new wave of uh, of officers going into and young people, and not so young people going into the security agencies at a time when they're recruiting very widely, and there are a massive growth in the size of these agencies in every country. The, uh, the idea that I think that um, will break out of some of the, um, some of the um, more damaging and, and uh, ineffective uh, procedures of the national agencies will be to, uh, and the, the, the younger members coming into it are probably familiar with it from, from uh, other parts of their world, that the idea that you, that the fundamental idea is that uh, people working in this area should have their allegiance, of course, fundamentally to the Australian constitution or the constitution of their country. And that, uh, and under that, uh, to um, uh, what could be called a code of codes of practice, which you find in the professions such as law and medicine, and architecture and engineering, and and what we designate the professions, where the uh, next level of allegiance uh, and commitment of the officer is to um, to the to the intellectual values of um, inquiry uh, and, uh, and analysis. And you can't have sound analysis uh, if the analysis is being hampered or directed from above. Uh, that, that is, analysis has to be autonomous within the institution. And to gain this, you have to uh, set up uh, um, an atmosphere or a culture where uh, where there are teams uh, that explore different hypotheses, uh, that where the um, and where uh, the uh, discourse within the organisation and the decision making within, say, ASIO in our case or other national security agencies, is based very much on on the uh, values of intellectual freedom of freedom of expression within the organisation and dissent and uh, and conflicting hypotheses, which are resolved by ultimately by the flow of data and the ha the way data is handled handled and gathered. The it it combines, I think, um, why I, the, why I have an expectation that professionalism like this will arise is that it it fits with other parts of the changes in in ethos that uh, we have more and more um, parts of the society which have codes of practice. Uh, we have more and more self-regulation uh, as well as formal regulation, uh, and where. Uh, ultimately, uh, there are stream. There's there are influences and movements within the society, uh, which uh, attempt to uh, 
bring about a free society, a fr um, an open access society where both at a government level and in the, within the professions and uh, where uh, the pure, or if you like, the purity of the, of the stream of data is not, is enhanced and not, not obstructed. So we have, for instance, along with codes of practice, we have the emergence of in most countries of freedom of information uh, uh, legislation. And uh, we have, the, uh, alongside this, we have, uh, we have also um, uh, um, the, the emergence of, of whistleblowing pr protection and whistleblowing structures within, within government departments and, within, and, and in the private sector as well, where, uh, again, this re whistleblowing connects very much with uh, the idea of professionalism because the whistleblower says regardless of what my boss is saying, regardless of what the minister is saying, uh, there's been, there is an interference or an obstruction or uh, a tainting or a distortion uh, of the data and of what we know and that there is, the data is being manipulated. So that uh, you get whistleblowing uh, as part of professionalism and then the other interesting emergence post Second World War has been in many organisations, including government departments and including national security organisations of ombudsmen and the whole ombudsman um, movement has uh, uh, in some ways interlocks with this so that uh, you, uh, the culture that I expect, as well as books like mine and the, the change in the nature of the change in the nature of um, the discourse that, that and I'd see my book as a, a as an attempt to be a circuit breaker. Uh, the the most of the Western national security agencies are still mired in the Cold War and in a, um, a division of uh, thinking and ideology that national security agencies are the repository of the one truth, one truth uh, and that that truth flows from often from the go government in power and the ideolo ideology of the government in power. Uh, there's a chance now because the generation that experienced all the um, the bad practices and, and hu huge follies and, and uh, and great social damage done by national security agencies during the Cold War, that the generation that experienced that is now dying out and that that debate is, has faded, although the lessons should remain learned. So essentially I see a, 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 a confluence of, of a number of social changes and, and attitudes towards uh, openness and uh, and uh, a, a, a commitment to what I'd call professional high levels of code of practice, and I expect that to happen within the national security agencies. Ultimately, I I think national security agencies such as our ASIO should stop seeing itself as a posse going out. Uh, riding out with their guns to round up the enemy and, and string them up and hang them, I see the new, the new ethos should be uh, that national security agencies are essentially uh, think tanks and, and uh, analytical, uh, the, the bringing together of analytical expertise which, which gives the best possible uh, advice to government and policy makers.